What's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are building a custom radiator shroud to fit the mechanical fan that's on that tdi and then we're going to also make it to mount a electronic fan for the ac onto the same shroud so let's get after it we already got the radiator out we got to do some measuring i do have some this right here this is a uh, believe 16th thick uh, sheet metal so that's what we're going to make it out of and here's the radiator so should be pretty easy. I am going to, because that is a little bit thinner of steel, I'm going to kind of do some bends here. So I'm going to come here, bend it out like a half inch, and that'll give it some strength. And then where I build the shroud to actually come out from that the main piece there, it'll come out and kind of encase around this fan here. That'll give it some strength, and then this side will have the electronic fan bolted onto it. So... All in all, I think it should be plenty, plenty strong with this uh, 16th. And this stuff is so much easier to work with, so much faster to cut, easy to bend. So I think we should be just fine with this stuff. So let's get some measurements out, get it traced out on here, get it cut up. And I don't really have a good way to bend it. I'll probably just strap it to the table and kind of smack it with a hammer. That's usually what I do to bend this thinner stuff. I really do wish I had a nice metal break, but I can't buy, I gotta kind of pick and choose what I buy for my shop. I'm already running out of space. So that's probably not on the list for a while, but let's get to work building this radiator shroud. All right, we got this all marked out to where I want to bend it. So I'm going to bend the top and the bottom here a half inch down. And then these are going to obviously have to be bent down a half inch. And then that's going to be bent back up. And that's where we're going to bolt through there onto the uh, radiator here. So I'm not sure this might get a little bit tricky trying to bend this one here with just a half inch. I don't know how I'm going to get in here and hold it. I'm gonna do my best if worse comes to worse and I can't bend it. I suppose I could just score a line in it like I do with thicker plate and it'll bend easy that way. And then I could just go back and weld it back up. But I wanna avoid that. I wanna do a whole lot of welding on this because it's gonna, being so thin, it's gonna warp if you put too much heat into it. So let's see what we can do to get this thing bent.
right, that's what we got so far. I know these bends didn't turn out 100% perfect, obviously with the hammer. They're a little wavy, but all in all, really not too bad. It uh, definitely will work. So we got to bolt it on. I'm gonna throw the radiator in and mark where I need to cut the hole for the fan. And then we're gonna take some more of this metal. We'll just take probably, I don't know, three or four inches out and weld it around coming out towards the fan to kind of help get the fan into the shroud. And then I'm going to use, actually this is the fan from the Passat. I went and pulled it off and that's gonna fit nicely and I already have it. It's gonna bolt right on. I'll just have to trim some of these little tabs off there because it kind of clipped into the uh, factory Volkswagen shroud, but we'll just take that and bolt it on wherever we can fit it in with the uh, other fan in there. So let's get the radiator bolted back in and get a whole cut in this for that shroud or for the uh, other piece of the shroud. And you're gonna have to be careful. Make sure your hole is a little bit bigger than the actual fan because the motor does move. And you don't want the fan smacking against the shroud. So I'm probably gonna give it, I don't know, a half inch, maybe three quarter inch. These mounts actually, they, they're a hydraulic mount. So they're not super, super stiff. So the motor does move a bit, so I'm gonna give it a little extra room.
There we go guys, we got the shroud on and looking good, fitting really good. I had to do a little bit of work on this side here to get it to clear. It is pretty tight down there. You can see I had to kind of step it out because I wanted to leave this coolant bottle there. So I kind of had to step it out a little bit, not a big deal. Um, I also cut the bottom, you can tell it's slanted and I cut the bottom a little shorter so I could slide the whole shroud up and out. I really hate those shrouds where you got to pull the radiator and then pull the shroud back and up. I wanted to be able to pull this shroud off without any issues. So that is looking good. I'm going to go through, weld all this together. It's probably going to take a while. I'm just going to go really slow. I don't want to put too much heat into it, like I said, and warp the crap out of this thing. So once I get all that welded up, then I'll come back and cut the hole and we'll mount that other fan. There we go, we got both fans ready to go. It was a little bit of a tight fit, but we got it bolted on there, nice and sturdy. So we are pretty much good to go. I'm gonna clean this thing, scuff it up, prime it, and just paint it black. I would powder coat it, but it won't fit in my oven. So we are just gonna prime it and paint it, and we should be good to go. We can throw it on and wire in this. We're gonna have to wire in the relay and all that good stuff. So we'll get to that once we get this thing in.
So here we go, fan is on, shroud is good to go. Looking really good, fitting good. This fan clears everything no problem. And then on this side here, you can see it is pretty tight, but we got clearance everywhere. And looking at it from this side, I gave it, I, put, I gave it about an inch here between the fan and the shroud just because, like I said, when this motor torques, it's gonna, I think the, I think the passenger side will lift up. So it's probably not gonna affect the fan a whole lot because it's on the other side. But I wanted to give that enough room just to make sure we're not smashing the fan into that shroud. So the last thing we need to do is wire in that whole relay system for that electronic fan. I'm trying to decide whether I should have that fan kick on at a certain temperature or I can have it kick on when the AC kicks on. I'm kind of leaning towards a certain temperature. I have that Cantu dash that has a fan output and then I also have a, a fan output out of the ECU that I can use. Those are both negative triggers. So we can just wire that into a relay and have that kick on at, I don't know, I don't remember the temperatures, but a certain temperature, we have that fan kick on. I know that mechanical fan is gonna help keep it at operating temp, but if it ever goes too hot and that mechanical fan can't keep up, I wouldn't mind having that electronic fan kick on at a certain temperature. So either way, once I figure out what to do, we'll wire in that relay and get this fan working. Well, that is a wrap for this video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.